snakes and scorpions, but frogs and toads? Thousands, if not more, gathering in the same place for just a few months each year. Frogs crawling up to five feet underground to begin a breeding frenzy. Only on ABC 15, John Genovese tagging along with game and fish experts tonight. They're at a secret location to witness this monsoon emergence firsthand. It's just such a unique spot. A spot that had us scaling rough roads just to reach. Game and fish biologists letting us load up in their trucks and tag along to a place outside the valley. It didn't take long to spot our first creepy crawler, but after spraying on a heavy coat of bug repellent, this is one of the breeding ponds. Our sights were on a different set of critters. This is a burrowing tree frog. Their adults are typically brown, but when they're juveniles, they're green like this. Amphibians big and small emerging for just three months a year. The idea is that when the first big thunderstorms hit the area, the thunder rumbles through the area for big, heavy, severe storms, and it vibrates the ground. And that's the signal to the toads and frogs that are buried underground that it's time to start working their way back up. For them, assign the waters back and it's time to breathe each letting off a special call. So some sound like uh, electric buzzers, some uh, have a, a trill type call, other ones have a whirring or even a call that might sound uh, at a distance like a scream. As the sun sets, holy moly, pretty much got his adult coloration. There were plenty more things to see. It's got a little toad face compared to the other things that we've looked at so far, like a little grumpy old man. This is truly a special place for researchers and biologists, one of the only spots in Arizona where they can find seven different species of frogs and toads. And one of the reasons why Game and Fish has been coming here and collecting data for close to 30 years. Toward the end of the night, we learned another lesson on watching our step, because for experts, what's most important is letting these wild things roam free. I have to admit, one of the reasons I come down here is it's fun. I just enjoy seeing them. John Genovese, ABC 15, oh, yeah. Arizona. A lot more to learn about those Arizona critters. Visit the Game and Fish website. Easy to remember, reptilesofaz.org.